Hey guys, Zachary, and today I'm just going to make a quick video showing you my uh, current Ultimate Team on FIFA 13. Um, as you can see, straight away I have gone with the typical Brazilian squad that I've done for the past like three years. And uh, obviously, this is just purely a like a team made purely for episodes and compilations and stuff like that, and just skilling really. So straight away, you can see I've got Cesar in goal. Um, I got. David Luiz again. I don't know if he's gonna. I don't think he's as OP as last year, but he was like, as, as you all know, he was like seriously overpowered last year. And then I've got a new guy who is Dante from Bayern Munich. And I was looking on what's the website? It's futwiz.com. And I thought some of his stats look quite good, it's like the defending stats. Like they see the defending is 82 and his heading is 79. I think he's got strike. I think he's quite strong as well. And he, and he seemed quite cheap, so I thought it was a good investment. Um, I've got Naldo, which last year I would have had Dede, but Dede is a bit expensive at the moment and I don't think I can probably afford him just yet at the moment with the amount I've already spent on this. And um, in centre defensive mid, I've got Ramirez and Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho doesn't actually play there, but last year I played him there and like he always, because used to, he, last year he was good with long shots, so I don't think he's as good this year with long shots, but I wanted to play Jadson there, so... I need to find a place. I need to get the actual card for him to play there because he doesn't obviously doesn't like the position at the moment. And you might notice that I'm playing 3-5-2. This is what I played last year, which like it literally changed Ultimate Team for me. Because I used to play 4-1-2-1-2 all the time. And as soon as I changed 3-5-2, like, I think it's weird. It seems like a formation that wouldn't be defensive. And I don't know, it, it just it plays really well. It doesn't seem too defensive to you, but it is. Like Because these three centre-backs always sit back. So, like, you never have that thing where you get caught off on a counter attack where your guys, like, your whole team's just disappeared somewhere. These three guys will remain back for you. And then with them five midfielders, you can just, like, create something like triangle passes and everything. It just works perfectly. And then you've got the two, like, ring wingers who basically work as, like, wing backs as well as, like, pushing up. So I think you need to get good guys with, like, stamina for these two places if you're going to use this formation. But especially on FIFA 13 so far, like, you've noticed, I've noticed that I think five at the back formations and probably like this formation will be a lot better than using a four because if you use a four you'll find that you'll get countered very easily every single time and uh let me move on with my team anyway i've just gone on a tangent we've got bastos again always have to have bastos just because he's a beast and uh this guy i've never even used him yet but um jorge henrique he's got four star skills that's one thing you notice yeah that you've got five star skills i think he's a four and then jadson's a five But yeah, I want to replace uh, Jorge Henrique with probably like, probably Danilinho, Lucas, or there's a new guy called Kelvin of five-star skills who looks beast. They're probably guys, or we could even get Hulk on the right as well. But at the moment, them guys are just going for ridiculous prices. Like at the moment, I've only got Elkerson and Rafael Savis up front. But I want Wallison again, because Wallison's an absolute tank. I don't know if he's going to be a tank on this game, but last year he was an absolute tank. And uh, so they're the type of guys I can't get up front. So I've currently got Elkerson, who's five stars, and Rafael Sabis, who is also five stars. But I want to kind of get Wallison. I don't know who else I could put up front. I can't remember there's another up front who's actually big, so I don't know. But like, and then that's my team, kind of like so far. <laughs> As you can notice, my team's called Wilmore if you didn't watch my pack opening. On the subs, so these are just random subs, but Carlos Alberto and Diego Souza are both five star skill players. And the rest are just players just to fill the gaps. And I've got. Mike O'Seal, who's four star skills. So, hopefully, this team can uh, get me some good goals. I can make some episodes for you straight away. And hopefully, it plays well. Because like, like, last year, Brazilians played well because of their pacey. But then this year, the game doesn't seem to be too pace based. It's about possession. But hopefully, their like, first touch might be a bit better than normal because the first touch in this game is crazy anyway. And obviously, I've got the Brazilian manager. But yeah, that's my team so far. Obviously, I'm going to fix it up. And I'll make, maybe I'll make a video in the future, like in the near future, when the team's actually like completely finished. Probably be a while yet once like the game's fully out, because it's gonna be a while for me to get little coins. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you if you like my team, leave a little like, and uh, I shall see you guys soon.